Look at that, that sound. I could do that all day long. It's just brilliant. So what we have here is a Japanese Samurai letter opener from uh, Japan. So you can see the Japan Post logo on it and also all the writings and so on. So we all know that this is an authentic Japanese product, not from someone who is based in Northwood pretending that this is made from Japan and so on. Uh, so the background story is that um, all these YouTubers seem to have their own customized brilliant uh, unboxing knives while as some of my viewers actually complained that I don't so I thought well why not get one for myself and it happens to be on Kickstarter they were promoting this Japanese let samurai uh, letter opener which I thought well why not I use this for unboxing uh, because we get loads of packaging and so on and I have great respect with Japanese craftsmanship and so on so that's why I decided to get this product and finally we got one here so I'm very excited about this to see how sharp this product can be so let's get into the unboxing so here it goes okay so let's get this one out first this is exactly why you should get an unboxing knife ah oh, have i been conned no <laughs> just joking and um here we got the box and a letter of appreciation so thank you for supporting project japanese so to open our support by kickstarter time we appreciate it now the moment of truth Oh, look at that. I can't believe it. it is so beautiful. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. That's a really nice package, everyone. Don't you agree? I mean, this is just, wow. I really don't want to unbox this because it's so beautiful. But for the sake of the video, unfortunately, I have to. But it will be a quite nice souvenir thing to have. I believe this is the um, Oda Nobunaga version and um, oh my god this is really sharp so immediately when you grab it it feels really good it's not like that feel of toy feel but proper metal and I'm sure you can see the um, made in Japan writing on it and you see all these waves of what generally you get for um, Japanese sword samurai sword and wow that is one beautiful piece don't you agree so this is the emblem of oda nobunaga um, i don't know much about him but i know that it's quite cool to have uh, this logo on and this is not not like one of those weak plastic but proper thick plastic i have to say it's beautiful and you know, all this these things as well this is actual proper uh, strap as well so the question will be how well it fits into the case. So here it goes. Make sure you don't cut yourself. Look at that, that sound. I could do that all day long. It's just brilliant. It's just so well made. When you actually grab it, you know it's a premium feel from Japan. So the first test would be how sharp this is by cutting the letter. So here it goes. Oh man. Oh wow, that cut is really smooth. That's brilliant. Right, so the next test would be how well it could slice. So here it goes. Ah, okay. It's not that sharp as, as I thought it would be. Hmm, interesting. So because this is like a double-sided um, paper, it only left very sharp scratch mark. But let's actually try a single piece of paper, shall we? Yeah, it's still um, not cutting it, but it's starting to make a lot of sense now because it's a uh, letter um, opener. Maybe because it was on the uh, soft surface, it wasn't cutting. So let's actually try on the hard surface, but um, okay, here it goes. No, it's actually... Yeah, it's only creating um, scratches, but it's not really cutting the lead, well, the actual paper itself. Well, why don't we try the actual um, package itself, shall we? 
Yeah, that's perfect. That is one perfect way to open it up. Um, and so on. So let's see if I get a box to unbox then it's a perfect solution indeed. Now many of you might request how well it penetrates, so let's try that on. <laughs> Look at that. That's just beautifully. You hardly feel any resistance there. And you can have loads of fun with it, which I am doing now. All right, so since I have the wireless microscope, let's actually zoom in to the craftsmanship of this sword, shall we? Made in Japan. That's beautiful. And then you can see some dents or is it just some other scratches? I don't know, some marks on it. It's the square becomes sharper to the triangle and then the edge continues on and on. Okay, so I should really go that way. That is beautiful. And then if we actually continue on, you can see all these um, I don't know how they did it, but these waves, you know, you can see those Japanese typical samurai waves on there. They seem to be not contributed to the actual sharpness of the blade, but it's quite interesting to see how it is crafted. It's pretty much like a, um, like a scratch mark. We go all the way to the end. That's the actual edge. That is a beautiful shot indeed. So the overall thoughts on this product is it's a beautifully crafted um, display unit and also a um, letter opener. And um, it's really well made as well. The material itself, when you touch it, it feels proper um, Japanese product indeed, premium product. All the plastic is really good as well. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not as sharp as I thought it would be. Uh, as you have seen before that uh, I have actually tried to slice the paper, but it doesn't seem to work that way. But I don't think you're gonna have any problem opening up any packages that you get from Amazon. Um, but uh, when, it's, when it comes to slicing paper, it's not designed to slice paper. I'm sure they could actually make it sharper, but again, it is a letter opener. So I think they just made it adequate enough, sharp enough to open up letters, but not slicing paper. That's my uh, conclusion. Maybe those who actually have this uh, might differ to my opinion, but I have actually tried some of the experiments, but it doesn't seem to be sharp enough to slice a paper. Now, so um, if you actually place this on your desktop and you have this Oda Nobunaga um, family emblem on it and then you display it and you actually have an interview with someone else going, hey, so um, why do you want to join my company and so on? I think that would be a really good feature, wouldn't it? But um, yeah, I mean, I'm really pleased with this product. Um, I don't think I'm going to play around with the sharpness of the blade, which I'm actually rather glad because if it was too sharp, I might end up doing so many silly stuff that it might uh, end up damaging the actual uh, sword itself. So anyway, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any queries, please do comment below. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.